Nebraska Game and Parks wildlife staff reach for the sky this February to continue a couple of research projects in the northwestern and north central part of the state. When reaching for the sky, the researchers find it pays to have a little help, such as the use of a helicopter. For the first project of the month, staff members join the pilot of the contracted ultralight helicopter in northwestern Nebraska for five consecutive days to get a count of the region's mule deer population. This marks the second year of the five-year aerial survey for mule deer in the Western Pine Ridge Management Unit near Shadron, Crawford, and Harrison. Staff members surveyed 429 square miles of the best mule deer habitat in the area. Among other things, the survey is helping determine how the mule deer population responds to the prohibition of harvest of females. Since 2013, the Game and Parks Commission has prohibited mule deer doe harvest in an effort to bolster the population. Data from the survey will help Game and Parks make management decisions, such as the number and types of permits issued. Wildlife managers, hunters, and other conservationists have been concerned about the mule deer population in certain areas throughout the American West. Mule deer face greater reproduction challenges than white-tailed deer and have a harder time rebounding from disease and other trials. Game and Parks frequently uses airplanes to monitor big game, but this is the first project employing a helicopter for mule deer surveys. The helicopter's ability to hover helps commissioned staff get a more accurate count of the animals especially in densely forested areas. The survey also gives staff members the opportunity to count other big game animals, including elk, white-tailed deer, and bighorn sheep. The second project with the helicopter involved capturing elk in north-central Nebraska. Tracking collars were placed on three elk near Bassett, the latest installment of a multi-year effort to use real-time location data to determine populations, make harvest recommendations, and monitor herd health. Game and Parks contracted the helicopter crew to catch the elk and equip them with GPS tracking collars and ear tags. In addition, samples were taken from the three cows to obtain health and genetic information. This is the third year of the collaring effort in the Niobrara River region between Valentine and Bassett. Crews placed collars on 17 elk the previous two years, 11 in 2014, and six in 2013. Projects such as these, which receive valuable financial support from conservation organizations, help ensure that big game animals will be around for not only future generations of hunters, but for other wildlife watchers, whether from land or from the sky.